morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Cold. <laughs> uh, at some point, when we wake up, it was raining. Now it's, the sun is out, but it's going to be hot. <laughs> it's going to say, what is happening to me? This year, because that we know this, this year, this time, we don't even see a drop of rain. No. But things have changed. Things have changed. But we continue to give thanks to God for everything that He always does. For He's the only one that can understand all the new mystery that is happening to us. We we'll just look and say, and we we'll never understand. Amen. Yes. May I ask that we continue to keep the following people in our prayers? And Jimo. Look, Jenny Pitores, Albert Matavata, Francis Capello, Dr. Matikoto, Evan Hedges, Chris and Shelly Figasin, together with Lita Maniti. Whenever we pray, may we please give thanks to them. May we please give thanks to God and ask God to look after them. Thank you. And others from their names may not be written in the, in the, on this list, but we know them. Whenever we pray, let us uphold them in our prayers. And today is the Ember Day. Ember Day is the day that we fast and we give. And also is the day that we pray for all the ministers, ordained and not, and not, and not ordained ministers, all those who have dedicated their lives to save God. Today is the day that we, we pray for them. So as we pray today, let us remember all the ministers, those whom we know and even those whom we don't know, and even those who are in process of being ordained. Thank you. Let us pray. Heaven Lord, we come into you, Lord, this morning. And we continue to give you thanks, O oh Lord, for everything that you always do for us. We thank you, Lord, for calling us, though unwisely though we are, to come and proclaim your words to the nation. Bless all the ministers, Lord, who save you with their whole hearts. And continue to call many, Lord, to come and save you. Be with us, Lord, in today's service. As who are here physically and those who are Follow us online. May the word of God, Lord, reach us all and transform our lives. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our service continues on page 104. I know you said, Hallelujah, Christ is risen. I remember that the season has changed. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Praise the Lord. And blessed be God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be His name now and forever. Our service continues this the prayer. And together we say, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to His people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We may be all sit. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, 
that we may perfectly like you, and with we magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is my feet. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. The followers confess our sins, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbor. Almighty God, um, our Heavenly Father, in inheritance we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, weight, and deed, and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. If you are following in the Blue Anglican Prayer Books, 
Listen to the good news proclaim the gospel of Luke chapter 1, reading from verse 89. Lord, we Christ our Savior. Gospel of Luke chapter 1, reading from verse 89. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb lived for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promise to her. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise Christ our Lord. But we never can prove that he Prophet 
came in a very uh, difficult time because Patan Judea was very disappointed. It has adopted foreign gods, it has adopted many things, and it was full of sins. Now Israel was a, a doomed place at that time because it was made that way by King Manasseh and Ammon. Manasseh is the grandfather of Josiah, and Manasseh is the father of Ammon. Ammon is the father of Josiah. Yeah. Did you get that? Manasseh is the grandfather of Josiah, the king who is not enthroned yet. And Ammon is the father of Josiah. So there's two kings did evil before the eyes of God. Manasseh was worse and his son Ammon was more worse because they have adopted the, the God of the God of uh, prostitution, the God of uh, a ban, the God of uh, a, a pagan. You know, what made Ammon more worse? This table that we respect most, this man decided to go and put other gods Beside the altar of God, decided to put the God of prostitution, decided to put God of uh, money, God of food, God of everything in the temple of God, near the temple of God. This man, and Israel was a, was known as a, a nation that worshipped different gods, and God was very angry at them. Now he decided. That I'm going to sweep off this nation. I am going to declare that no one, nothing that lives there, nothing that crosses there, nothing that anything that has a life there, I'm going to destroy and finish them all. He was so angry. This prophet Zephania came and said, God is angry at you this time. God of God, worshiping God, God, God of pagan God. God is not this big angry. And they keep on praising those words and say, now, now God is angry. He's very angry at you now. And they couldn't just listen. Remember they were priests that time. But they decided, no, it's fine. Uh, let's, let's continue, it's fine. He even talked to the, the, those, Zephaniah tried to speak to those priests. You are the man of God who must stand against these things. But they continued. Now God, because he was angry, he decided to bring the Assyrian, Assyrians armies. They surrounded them and they were big army to them. You remember Israel, they, 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 they are not army, they cannot even fight because God always fights their battles all the time. So this time they were afraid. This time they were afraid and they decided to worship God. God, we, we cannot deal with this army. I see a sword God and he decided, I'm going to finish all of you. I'm going to sweep you off. I'm going to strip this country of mine. This is my land and you make it filthy, you make it dirty, you make it worse. And they were making sacrifices. So God was angry at them and he was going to finish them out. So where we have read, God is trying to restore this young man, this people. But how does he do that? Because they repented. They cried to God. They cried to God, God, we cannot deal with this army. We cannot do anything. We are not fighters. We are not soldiers. We are nothing. But, and how, how are we going to deal with this and all these kind of things? And they prayed to God and God helped them. God heard their prayer. God saw their tears. God saw their fears. And they were filled with fears. And God helped them. And he told them, Son, you are serious. Hey, 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 go back, go back, go back. And the Assyrians were to negotiate with God. God, can't I just kill one here and then What? Just one? Let me just throw my arrow at someone. And no, 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 not today, not ever. Go back. Mm -hmm. And the Assyrians were to turn back to their homes. They didn't touch Israel. They didn't touch anyone in Judea. And God had their prayers. So now, even though the Assyrians left that uh, Judea, they didn't. They were fierce. So God is trying to bring his prophet Zephaniah to say, comfort the people. Say, be glad, be joyful, sing God to joy the songs of happy. Sing joyful songs and be happy because God had your prayers. Be happy at all times. 
Now, he's bringing them good news, so to say, God is no longer in the age. Be calm. Be calm. Don't cry anymore. You don't have to mourn. You don't have to do anything. Be calm. Because God had you now. You have repented. And now you are a free nation. God is not going to do anything. And he's giving them a promise of hope. That, you know what? I will be with you to the end of times. I will be with you. Nothing can touch you. And they were so happy. And they were so happy. And after hearing this news, he gave them a guarantee that, you know what? I will live among you. And nothing will touch you. Even those Assyrians that are agreed that they should come here, they will never touch you. So be joyful, rejoice, and I will live with you to the end of time. Nothing will touch you. And I'll never allow anything to come between you and I. Because then you are my favorite nation. Now, the way restoration I did, it means reestablishment, return to the, the former condition. People of God, God knows our sins. God can see our sins. God can see what is in our hearts. God can see in our minds. You, 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 you heard when we were saying uh, we, we, we repent through our what we didn't do in our mind, what we couldn't do, and what we when, what we have uttered, what we have said, and what we did. So God knows every sin that we are trying to plan that we did. Even though we didn't execute the, the sin, but it's a sin. The fact, the fact that it's in our thoughts, we thought of it, it's a sin. So God knows in what is in our mind, in our hearts, in everything. So he knows all our sins. But if we repent, God is going to restore us. But I want to speak to, to answer about restoration. What is the restoration? about because Israel was comforted because of the, the, the destruction that has happened. The Assyrians and army and so on. Even us we go through many difficulties, through difficult things that our struggles, God can see our struggles, God can see our tears. Whatever the conditions that we are in, whatever that we go through, God saying that condition is not permanent. I'm going to change it. God is saying it is going to change. We need to pass someone first. Because destruction is coming, or destruction is already here. You can see what is happening in our country. The economy, back in 2007, we, we used to buy raw chocolate to run fifth. I think have changed. Things have changed. The destruction is already here. Now, you remember, you know, if they say a uh, uh, tender somewhere out and there is a, a building of houses or bridge somewhere, but that, that construction has fell in it. And somewhere, uh, people, only three people benefited and get houses. But the promise was made that thousands and thousands of houses will be built and we will vote. This structure is already here. We need to pass somewhere first. Repent so that our country can be restored. There, there, is, there was a war. A war can come to us also. There is a lot of corruption. They were so same as the same as in Judea. They were doing those corruptions. They were doing those kind of things in, 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 in Judea. Worshipping idols, worshipping things. But God is saying, I've seen your Christ. I've seen the struggles. You know, God has seen the struggle of a woman who is trying to cry every day that my child yet again is another year without a job. God can see that. Restoration is coming. A, a, a parent who are busy praying for their children day and day and night that our child needs to change. He, he, he was not like this. There's no way that a child can be born for a now baby. Restoration is coming, but we need to pass somewhere first. We need to pass somewhere. Restoration is coming. The condition is going to change. This is not permanent. Like Jerusalem, that is being promised. Restoration is coming. Woman who is crying and all night that we do not have food, we do not have this and this. And restoration, we used to. We used to. Makura Basaduri. Cooking oil. 
it was not this expensive. We would buy five liters in, in 25 liters. We put it there and they would buy a 25 bag of a flour. We would cook and do a fat cooks and whatever and so on. Because there was enough cooking oil at that time. But now you can even we buy a little bit. Restoration is coming. Amen. But we need to pass somewhere first. Mm. Repent. Repent. You do know in your heart. And the condition, and sometimes we would even go to an extent of saying, hey, my family is cursed. Uh, 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 my, I was cursed. Uh, my grandfather was cursed. There is nothing of that. Repent. God is going to bring a restoration. If God did to the Judea people, even to us, He can't even do it. Only if we repent, the condition will change. And we will return. And God is going to see us. He's seen those falls. He's seen those fallen marriages. He's seen those uh, Christ in homes. He's seen those jobless people. He's seen those. He, you cannot go to a, a, a university, University of Cape Town, and come back and sit. There's no way you can go and pay a lot of money, 100 and something thousand for you earn and come back and sit with your degree. Mm. God is going to change that situation. Mm. But we need to pass somewhere first. Mm. Let us repent. And God is going to restore the most wonderful thing. And we shall rejoice when restoration comes. And we shall sing joyful songs to God and say, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. And not just only we will sing the strength of songs and all this. He said, I will be with you to the end of times. And I will be by your side. And nothing will touch you. Nothing at all. Because I will be by your side. He's promising us that. Now restoration is coming. Let us come to mind and repent. God is going to hear us. When we repent, let us also repent for our leaders. Those who are doing this kind of corruption. Let us repent for those who keeps on stealing our money so that the service deliveries can come to us. Let us pray for those who are responsible for the economies and to, to develop. Let us repent for them so that restoration for this country will come. May God help us as we go and repent for restoration. Amen. They seek to destroy and kill. 
the rods, faithfully change their hands, make them lay down their arms, so that peace may prosper in your world. Let your grace become paramount. We also pray for all who are writing half yearly exams. Keep their minds alert and memories sharp. Calm their nerves and give them your peace. Only your peace can sustain them through the anxiety and stresses of examiners. We trust that your loving hand will hold them through these exams and lead them into a bright future. To this congregation, to all your people in their different callings, give your heavenly grace that we may hear your holy words with reverent and obedient hearts and serve you truly all the days of our lives. In your compassion, Father, comfort and help those who are in trouble, sorrow, need or sickness, especially the members of our church who are in the conflict. Father, we know that you are good and that you hear those who call upon you. Give to us and to all people what is best for us, that we may glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be 
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness with this wine to offer, through the divine and the work of human hands, for us it becomes the car of salvation. Blessed be God. And we continue with the four Eucharistic prayer on page 124. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, through your blessed Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. He is your living word, through whom you have created all things. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took the flesh of the Virgin Mary and shed a human nature. He lived and died as one of us to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. In fulfillment of your will, he stretched out his hand in suffering to bring relief to those who place their hope in him, in you, and so he won for you a holy people. He chose to bear our grief and sorrow and to give up his life on the cross that he may shake the chains of the evil one and banish the darkness of sin and death. By his resurrection, he brings us into the light of your presence. And now, with all Christian, we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of our enemies, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the Empires, blessed be the King of the Spirit of the Lord. O Son of Holy and precious God, accept our praise through your, our Savior Jesus Christ, who on the night that he was headed over to suffer and death, took bread and gave you things. He gave it to them, saying, Take and eat, this is my body which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup and he gave you thanks. He gave it to give you to them, saying, Drink this all of you. He said, Give it to them, saying, This is my blood which is shed for you. When you do it, you do it in memory of me. So we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is God, Christ is risen, Christ is come again. Remembering therefore his death and resurrection, we offer before you this bread and this cup, giving them that which make us ways to stand in your presence and save you. And we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church, rather than to one or who share in this mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit their faith in the truth, that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant, Jesus Christ, and all, and all glory and honor yours, Father, Son, with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are going to say,
Yes, it does not matter. It only and save the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which He gave for you, and His blood, which He shed for you. Faith all the way in your heart, with faith and thanksgiving.
Yes, thanks a lot. So God is gracious. Yes, he is yes, All my children of God, we thank you for feeding us with this holy mysteries. With the blood and the blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And for, for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people, help us to present you as living members of that holy fellowship. And to grow in love and obedience according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns in the the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We join together as we pray a prayer of dedication, as we dedicate ourselves to the Lord. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, send us out of the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live in the to your grace and glory. Again, we join together as we pray for Africa. God bless Africa. Protect our children. Transform our leaders. Give our communities. Restore our dignity. And give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God. And of his Son, Jesus Christ, our God. And the blessing of God, and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <coughs> Take this time to Thank you all for watching with us today. I see we have a visitor there at the back. May you please just stand and tell us who you are. Josias? Josias? Where are you from? Mugopani. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Are there any notices? I don't think that's what you're saying.